Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is dissolving styrofoam. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a styrofoam cup or any kind of styrofoam, acetone, a lid, or a plate. When you buy your acetone, your nail polish remover, right, uh, you want to make sure you buy the professional grade uh, formula one, professional formula uh, in the black bottle. The red bottle one uh, just is not uh, up to standards and it will not uh, dissolve the styrofoam. So make sure you get the right one before you do this experiment. So take your acetone and pour it in a bowl or what I have here is a Folgers uh, coffee lid. Uh, fill it up just so it just about covers over the, the surface of the, of the lid. Then take your styrofoam cup and put it in. You already asked the kids what's going to happen. Um, and give it a little bit of pressure by pushing it down. You can see it starts to look like it's uh, boiling. So this is a tricky one. It looks like it's a chemical reaction because it's so dramatic, but it's actually a physical reaction. The acetone is the main ingredient in nail polish remover. So when I say acetone, I mean nail polish remover. The acetone, which is a solvent, causes the styrene in the styrofoam to dissolve. This releases the air pockets that have been trapped. So the substance left behind is still the same substance. It's just lost all the air. So if you were to be able to put some kind of machine to whip it up around and blow air back into the substance, it would puff back up again. This is why we say it's a physical change. The substance did not change on the molecule level, but in theory, it could be reversed. So since the styrofoam is mostly air, then you'd be surprised on how much styrofoam you can actually dissolve with one cup of acetone. A cup of acetone is enough to dissolve an entire bean bag's worth of styrofoam. Here's what we got left. All that styrofoam cup is down to that much once we take all the air out. You can see the comparison. It's pretty crazy. Now you can take this little piece that looks like uh, Play-Doh. Uh, you can shape it into any kind of shape and let it dry and harden, and then it'll stay into that shape. It's pretty crazy on how small the actual uh, styrofoam is left when you take the air out. One more time on the side view, fast forward, giving it some pressure, and it's going to go all the way down and turn it upside down. That's it. Take both pieces, and I'm going to put it together into a little stick man. Let it dry. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Get, remember to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.